Okay, I am here for some more pixel art help. So first, can we establish, look at this. I built this one on my own. I did not copy this from someone else. I did this all by myself, so I'm kind of pretty proud of it. So let's just appreciate that. Anyway, what I want to talk to you about today is creating a drop-down menu for your answer choices, okay? So you can see I started this. This is for anatomy and the four types of tissue. And the answers are going to be one of the types of tissue for all of them. So what I'm going to do is select all of the answers, okay, that whole column, but just the section where I want students to actually put their answer. But instead of having them type it, I want them to just choose it from the drop-down menu. So after you have selected all of the spaces where those answers would be placed, go to data and choose data validation, okay? And I've already selected the range. Now, if you forgot to select the range beforehand, then you would just go here and then choose the, um, choose the cells at that point, okay? So if you didn't do it that way, it gives you another opportunity. And I want a list of items. So what I'm going to type in is the four types of tissue, epithelial, connective, nervous, and muscle. Okay. And I'm going to click save. Now look, here is a little triangle. When you click on the little triangle, you're going to be able to choose the correct answer. No misspellings, okay? Uh, students simply choose. Now notice it's just going to show up in the same order every single time, okay? And students just go through, click the little drop-down menu, and choose the correct answer, okay? So whatever they think the answer is, okay, they would just choose it. So this is a great way for students to be able to fill out the information in a pixel art, but not have to worry about spelling. Because what are we testing? Are we testing the content? Are we reviewing the content? Or are we reviewing spelling? So this is a great tool to enable students to not focus on the spelling, but simply focus on the right answer. And you do, can have multiple um, options. So if we were going to do the 11 body systems, I could literally just type in all 11 body system and each question could have that same exact drop down menu and students would just have to select it. Okay, now if a student instead of typing, okay, so they click on the drop down menu and then they start typing. And so say they um, put support it. Okay. Uh, you see how that has that in that red spot here? Invalid. Okay, so they have to put one of the options. It's going to give them an indicator that they, they put something that was not one of the choices. Okay, so again, you could see easily that red mark right there, which is going to indicate it's an invalid response. Okay, so just again, really quick, we're from data, data validation, okay? So here is this box. So let's just choose that so you can see data, data validation. You could see my four options. You could see the cell range, okay? And uh, so that's an easy way, again, to account for not having to worry about spelling.